Hey guys, JPlay back here with more Rogue Legacy. In the last episode, we finally beat the boss of the forest. So it's time to go exploring again, heading north into the mire. Uh, I can pick a Hokage, which I've been having a lot of fun with recently. Although a dwarfish barbar barbarian king does sound good. Fucking paladin. Um, I'm going to go for the added mobility of the dwarfishness. Right, let's... Let's be very grateful that my pressing up too many times didn't get me to somewhere where I couldn't go any further. Um, let's boost our equip so that we can get to... So I've got a few things here uh, which are a bit too heavy for me to wear right now. Or were before I upgraded. Let's go for Guardian Helm. So that's definitely, that's helped my health, that's helped my mana, that's definitely a good decision from my point of view. And then back into the castle, heading up, not north, heading just up, I guess. Now I might regret the loss of the Hikagi damage now I'm... Hakagi uh, damage now going somewhere more dangerous, but on the other hand, I just feel like it's about time to take advantage of the better mobility, which I just haven't been doing. Let's see if we can circumvent this room. So I'm now somewhere above uh, Charon. Right, 
let's go somewhere slightly less spiky if possible. Wasn't enjoying that. Oh, I forgot those fuckers home. Damn it. I tried to drop through the floor, but bosses pressed it wrong. I don't want to do this when I'm too high up because I'll fly into the other guard's shields and bugger. Oh well. Who have we got next on the chopping block? Paladin going for dwarfism again even though it didn't really pay off last time so much. I don't know, I should probably boost health at some point, but health's for cowards. What new equipment did we pick up? Right, I definitely don't need any more blood equipment. It's... I, I've lowered my other stats enough to just hope for that vampirism. Retaliation rune's quite cool. Uh, that's the one where if you get hit it does half the damage back, but obviously that stacks as well, so... Um, I say obviously. So if you have retaliation runes on everything and the on every piece of armour and stuff, and the pieces of armour which in themselves carry the same benefit, you'll end up doing five times the damage you receive to everyone who hits you. Obviously if you combine that with the uh, blood stats, that would be pretty unbeatable, which is why it's probably a good thing that you can't just keep ad adding runes ad infinitum. Uh, well, I didn't want to shoot a fairy chest anyway. I'm still no good at the bloody paintings. Yeah. 
tests on that actual run. Look at all that dodging and shit. Okay, I was lucky that the chips happened to fall in a fairly forgiving fashion, but fuck them. Something to the right over here. I guess that's got to be either the way to the forest or to Neo Kidda. Who I still haven't beat actually, so it's probably about time. instead. staying in the video because I'm actually proud of my patience there even if I didn't do much damage um, I at least avoided things properly and didn't rush in and kill myself straight away like I normally do For now, I'm just going to go exploring the rest of the castle. Um, there, there's probably about a million times as much footage now of me um, trying 
trying to get through that fucking fight than there will ever be time for in any video ever. So if I sound a little more disheartened than I did just five minutes ago from your perspective, that's probably because fuck that fucking eyeball. It's a dick. No, that was just poor play. What have I got here? Oh, but I have a Spelunker, not like a high damage class or anything. Oh, I've got to remember I can actually get hit by my spikes, that would be fine. I was worrying too much about dodging what I'd fired out and not enough about that little eyeball bitch. I've been methodically clearing the demons in these rooms in my quest to slay the next garden, but I am losing track of time and other things. As I entered the tower, I felt time stand still. Or perhaps that's the vertigo talking. I was never keen on heights, or was I? I'm finding it increasingly difficult to remember my past.
I can't remember what the Maya boss is, though. I remember either the second or third boss being uh, surprisingly harder in my eyes than the... Also, fuck, Ectomorph send you miles. I think Ectomorph might be an, actually be an avoid at all costs one now. It was never good, but I don't remember it being this dramatic. Maybe just because it was never good, so I never took it. to get to the point where I should at least know what I'm doing in most areas, even if I don't survive that long. Uh, maybe I won't survive long at all. This is a bad sort of a room to come out into as well. Alright, one final run for this video, because I'm not sure how many... Um, those attempts against Neo Kid are going to stay in. Yeah, let's go for this shit. It'll be fun at least, even if that chicken bullshit gets annoying. And I'm not really fussed where I go at all, to be honest. I could go up or down for all that care, so. I guess that was the chicken noise I got confused by. Uh, I was wondering where that noise came from a second ago. Luckily I sort of double hit instead of... Instead of just hitting once and then being surprised when I got deservedly fucked up for getting what I was supposed to actually be doing. I guess that'll do for now. So, uh, I've been Jplay, this has been Rogue Legacy, and I have not had the success I was hoping for. I thought after last video's stonking victory, I would come back in and just curb stomp every motherfucker in my path. And then Neo Kidder happened, and then my soul was crushed. But anyway, cheers for watching. <laughs>